I'm going to show you the way to open up the Denon S101 player in order to fix uh, some issues that you may have, especially with the CD DVD rack, which would fail opening up correctly, or eventually the reading of CDs that would also not be uh, doing okay. In order to speed up the video, I've already taken out all the screws. I just want to show you the major steps that are needed to proceed with. Okay, so at first, we're going to turn around the player and you will have to remove those screws as well as those screws and one, two, three for the front side. We're going to do then removal of the screws which are located in the back here, one, two, three, four, as well as the screws which are located here and here in order to take out the pieces one, two and three. So here we go. I've unscrewed it already so it's easy to take out of course. One, two. This one for the moment we leave it in the front. I will explain to you uh, what will be needed to push it a bit forward. Really to access the CD rack we need to remove the upper part. This is done by unscrewing one, two, three, one, two, three. We're able to lift it slightly, lift it slightly, and here you try and pull it out. Now this is a bit awkward, and you will understand why in a few seconds. It's normal that it resists a bit. Just really pull it up and push it back. It's uh, not that easy to do because those parts, plastic parts, are being slid here. So that's really why you need to push up, slide. So we can take this part away. Now you can see the insides of the Denon S101. Uh, the CD rack is this part here. So as you can see we can't access it really. We just push like this and like that, remove the part and now we can see the head of the DVD uh, of the CD uh, player as well as the mechanism which is used to open up the, the slid. Um, now let's suppose it's easy to open so you push. If you have some difficulties pushing you may want to plug it back in electrically and then press the open button then it will open up like that. Um, I'm, I'm able to do it manually because I've already removed here the small rubber which is used to help pushing inside and outside the rack but again at this level if you really want to open it plug the electricity press open and it will open like that. Now we have access to the main uh, things which may be uh, 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 the reason of an issue either because the plastic part which is at the end of the electrical uh, engine here which is used to move forward and backward the, the laser beam is as either broken or is out so you may want to look this side if ever when you push play it will not move forward and backward so look here and if you have difficulties opening, removing the sledge then you really have to focus at this level because again this little rubber which only costs a few cents may be getting old in my personal case my Denon is 8 years old of course it's quite logical that the rubber has weakened a bit so I may want to replace it uh, but you see it's quite difficult to access it here actually so what you may have to do, and this is really the tricky part, I've highlighted it by uh, putting unscrew, unscrew and unscrew, is that here you have one, two, three screws that you need to remove, as well as remove one, two, one, two screws in order to push forward the front part. And really, that's really, I really insist because I've been uh, having some very hard times 
one screw at this level, another one here, and a very, very tricky one, which is located here. Okay. And there's a part that we have to be very careful here. An electrical part that's uh, a bit tricky. And now, we can easily change, replace the rubber which is used really to move the sledge back and forth. So that's for the opening parts. You fix what you have to do, then you slide everything back in place. So again, being very careful with the electronic parts which are located here. That's really the trickiest step of everything that I'm doing right now. Slide it very slowly, looking here, looking there, looking here, looking there. Slide it. Now of course we suppose we've put back the electrical the rubber part, so just slide push back then. Then do not forget to put back the metal plate because it's going to secure the DVD like that. If you forget to put this one back, all the CD reading part won't work. So I'm just going to do it right now. Slide it like this. And here you may just slightly push. Be careful, it goes precisely in there as well as in the hole. We then, of course, one screw, two screws, three screws, this one, this one, this one, this one back. It's tight. You have to <clears throat> we're going to slide back the top cover. You have to be very careful about this metal uh, contact which is located here. There's actually also one on that part, but I've already lost mine. Because when you slide it, it's used to make... Uh, electromagnetic compatibility contact between the main frame as well as the top cover which is also made out of metal here. So we press real tight in front and we push. We put back this so at this level you of course you may want to put back the screws one two three one two three you put back the slides the side sorry not this one this here Check. Here. Okay. And then you screw everything back in place, meaning front cover screws, side screws, and all the screws in the back. And you're done.